okay hello hello this is video six and uh, we're gonna be talking about how to go live with your ads okay I'm gonna assume you made your image page post ad already and you post it to the respective fan page and uh, either if it was a long-term community that you chose you're gonna be building or if it is on a tea shop okay now in regards to the tea shop uh, and also on the niche page either if it's if it's a long-term community you want to be building you always gotta really make sure that you look professional if it, when you when you look at your when you look at your look at your home your home or home ads you're gonna see that the ads come from a page that has a logo you know has a profile image has a name and uh, the rest and there is a like page over here so if you're promoting through let's say uh, let's say you're promoting through um, through the uh, I love skateboarding page okay so the I love skateboarding page gotta have a profile image okay and gotta have a cool name and when people click through it got to have as well a about page okay right here you gotta have some description and a a, a, a website and maybe a, a, even a support uh, maybe even an email or something that where they can contact the kind of the uh, community admin or something like that okay that would be really the icing on the cake you don't have to do that but really at least make a description and put a nice picture that is professional and nice cover and uh, this girl is distracting me right now <laughs> okay so so then um, now in the if you do a tea shop it's exactly the same here's an example I found out there and of course I'm not gonna reveal mine but uh, you gotta do a nice profile image and you gotta put a cover up and put a description on there and your pretty link is gonna have the same brand as a tea shop so make sure you're congruent on that side and then run uh, the t-shirts you want to run through the tea shop run them through there and then the t-shirts you want to run through a community page that you want to build up long term do it through there as well okay so um, uh, with no further girl distractions over there let's go now into the lo going live part okay as I said I assume you made your image page post ad already and now let's go into facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash create and you're gonna create your ad okay we're gonna create this step by step again just as I do it step by step all of my system if you go through the videos again got it you then do it but you gotta follow this system accordingly okay so it's gonna be a page post engagement ad it's not gonna be a clicks to website ad which for example if we look at this uh, this one right here uh, let me see no this one let's do this so that you can see so it clicks to website ad is this it clicks the website ad where you actually where you actually uh, put this uh, you put a page and the ad comes from the fan page and you see this is the 600 times 315 pixel size and it's rectangular and this would be a clickable image this is called a link page post and when you do a click to website ad Facebook automatically creates a link page post on your fan page but it doesn't publish it uh, it pu doesn't publish it uh, officially okay on the page you don't see it on the timeline but it's in the back end it's what's called an unpublished link page post okay it's an unpublished post in this case specifically a link page post you gotta have the uh, terminology right okay so that we can communicate correctly you can understand me so really you gotta know which type of ads there are and really name them and when you're referring to them do it correctly because if there are confusions in the communication there is going to be confusion in your thoughts and it's going to be confusions in your actions okay so words thoughts and actions so communicate correctly know the terminology okay so clicks the website creates a link page post ad and it does it in an unpublished way what's also other people call it dark post I call it unpublished because that's how Facebook calls it and that's it so a published post instead it's on the page and when you go to the timeline of the fan page you see it okay and it can be as I said earlier it can be a photo post it can be or image post it can be a link post or it can be a video post or just a text post or status post okay status update so 
uh, it's not going to be clicks the website ad. It's going to be, uh, as you can see here, it's not this, okay? So don't make this mistake. If I'm telling and really making sure uh, I repeat this so many times, it's because I've seen many of my students make the mistake. When I tell them it's an image post ad, they make this. And it's not, okay? It's an image page post ad, and it's promoted through page post engagement. So we'll go in page post engagement right now, and right here we're going to type in Damien's, the specific fan page you did your posts on, okay? The T-Shop, as I said, or the niche page that you created. So now I created two, like one for first niche and second niche, because as I said in the beginning, we're going to be building, we're going to looking for proven and replicable designs. So let's say I have a replicable design and I already created it for two niches on the same page. Okay. It's going for one niche. This one is for first niche. It has its specific design and its specific pretty link. And here is for the second niche. It has specific design to that niche with that specific, with it, um, its own specific pretty link, okay? But both are the same concept, the same replicable and uh, scalable concept. Like, let's say we're doing the evolution one for skating and the evolution one for surfing in this case. So take the first one, you click continue. Once you do, here's the power, okay? So first thing, disconnect right column right away. And then here's huge power that nobody has ever taught you and you've never heard to most likely and I'm gonna give credit to one of my students who showed this to me I didn't even know about this either and now I use it all the time okay my student Jeff Cheng uh, showed me this and it's freaking insane this is so powerful you're not gonna uh, you're not gonna imagine it okay so then check your uh, check your conversion pixel that you create that was created earlier as we showed in the earlier video and then right here URL tags okay what does this do a URL tag is a tag that you can have redirected through your ad to your link uh, in order to track where the conversions are coming from or where the clicks are coming from etc etc so in this case we can right here type in our variable from Teespring and make it look like interest. Let's say this is evolution or let's say we're going to target skating. Okay, so this is niche one. This is for skating and we're going to target the interest Chad Muska. Okay, as I showed in the video earlier. So interest Chad Muska. And this is for niche one. As I said, this is for the skating niche and it's the evolution T. So, uh, interest chat Muska. So, this is going to be forwarded through the pretty link. Because remember, when we set up the pretty link, told you to, con uh, to um, select forward parameters. So, this is that is why the reason why we do that is because this is going to be forwarded to the pretty link right here. Okay, the pretty link is going to be here, and the pretty link is going to forward it to the Teespring link. And then under analytics, Teespring, you'll be able to see under the analytics right here and get variable data. You'll see the key, which is variable equals whatever it is that you put. In this case, it's going to be interest chat Muska. And you can see all the conversion, the conversion rate for that interest, the orders placed, etc., etc. Okay, so this is huge power and I'm really sure you haven't heard about this and you're absolutely excited now to start implementing this. This means you don't have to create any other posts and you can split test multiple interests without having to create a, a post for each specific interest. You can have this one and then create multiple ads as we'll show now that go back to the same post but have a different interest. Okay, so let's say in this case we're going to do what we're going to do and we're going to even set this up even though it's not in the real t-shirt I'm going to set up this ad okay so it's going to be United States right here then I'm going to select 21 this is what I do the most always and then when I go into optimization and then one of the next steps we'll see um, how to really optimize the ads later on to really go just for the ones that are buying okay so in this case it's 21 and no max once you have that uh, we're gonna of course um, we're also gonna be looking at 
uh, the demographics you're targeting. Okay, you gotta have your done your research previously, as we did with the uh, uh, when we did it with the audience insights, uh, and from there on you'll know exactly what to target and we'll do that okay so first of all this is the part I wanted to tell you about first of all and now we'll go into what is the next part which is really powerful how to do the interests and really how to organize your ads correctly okay so make sure you select the conversion tracking pixel and then make sure you put the URL tag specifically for what you're targeting okay so in this case let's say I was targeting Chut Maska right so I was targeting that guy and it has a size of 64,000 I can even target two things okay to have a bigger audience but this is how you split this okay normally what I do is I immediately just get the right audience okay I do my research correctly I fill in all the possible all the possible skaters that I can right here as we're seeing Rodney Mullen. I uh, will have. I know it's Chris Cole. I know, for example, there is zero skateboards right there and stuff like that. Okay, I will put all of that and right here I would add interests. Uh, interests. Uh, it would be skaters and zero. Okay, it would be that once you chose that. But let's go that into that a little more. In the next video for now you know it's page post engagement ad you put the conversion tracking pixel make sure you add the URL tag specifically to what you're targeting so that you can split this and know which ones are converting and uh, let's go now into the next part see you there.